end things and to end things again a sad way to end things finally here um unfortunately norm mcdonald the legend um legendary stand-up comedian and former snl host died at the age of 61 from a long uh, battle with cancer that no one actually knew about he kept it completely secret from all his family and friends i didn't even hear rumors again i listened to a lot of comedian la based podcast stuff and you would imagine the fact that he's at the comedy store the fact that he's a kind of permanent fixture in stand-up comedy in general that you would hear some rumors of you know in a great you'd hear something um in the great fight in terms of what he's kind of going through but the fact that he disappeared out of nowhere for a prolonged period of time should have maybe rang some alarm bells the fact that he kind of looked a bit weird he looked a bit inflamed he looked like he'd obviously now thinking back on it maybe he was going through chemotherapy i'm not really too sure but he obviously he was kind of fluctuating in terms of how healthy he did and didn't look um but just in general in terms of an artist in terms of a stand-up comedian it's just a sad thing to see especially off the back of the michael um williams um um, if, uh, what you call it news we got as well the other day it's just incredibly incredibly sad but I guess he wanted to go out in this way he wanted people only to remember him for his art he didn't want to be um, he didn't want to have people kind of you know treat him differently because of the condition that he had and I guess they didn't because you know he got if I'm not mistaken fired from a couple of jobs during the time he had this you know this flipping um, horrible diagnosis um, he obviously didn't do his Netflix show. I think was he meant to do his Netflix show? I'm not too sure. That didn't happen. But a lot of things transpired during the time that he had um, the cancer diagnosis for 10 years, which is a long time to suffer through that. So again, thoughts and feelings go out to his family. And it says here, Norm MacDonald, who's... Uh, um, whose iconic delivery and sharp indecisive observation made him one of Saturday Night Live's most influential and beloved cast members died today after a nine-year private battle with cancer. Okay, he's 961 years old. The McDonald's death was announced by deadline, to deadline by his management um, firm, Brillstein Entertainment, the comedian's longtime producer, partner, and friend Laurie Joe Hoxstra, um, who was with him when he died, I said McDonald had been battling cancer nearly a decade, but was determined to keep his health struggles private, away from family, friends, and fans. Which is really brutal to hear, right? Fair enough, the fans, but the family and friends is like, wow, man, they don't get any chance to kind of prepare to say goodbye or anything right it's just kind of launched upon them like everybody else but again people have that when they suffer through these things they should be allowed to deal with it however they want to and it is somewhat admirable that he didn't want to use it as a crux to kind of gain sympathy as some people would have done um especially if they're scared and they're worried they want as many people to kind of worry about them as possible the fact that he didn't do that is something that should be kind of heralded i think it says here he was pretty proud of his comedy he never wanted a diagnosis to affect the way the audience or any of his loved ones saw him norm was a pure comic he he once wrote that a joke should catch someone by surprise. It should never be panda. He certainly never pandered. Norm will be missed terribly. Norm McDonald was scheduled to perform in New York City Comedy Festival in November. He was an SNL cast member from 1993 to 1988, making his great impact as an anchor on the weekend update segments for three seasons. And of course, as a way to tribute to him, we're going to play a quick segment here from the I'm Not Norm um, channel, and then we're going to end the show there. This is Norm McDonald on the Saturday Night Live doing the weekend update some of his best one-liners and pieces of material from that era of course there's other bits and pieces but this is definitely the best potential jurors for the OJ Simpson case were asked to fill out a 75 page jury questionnaire this week in the entire state of California only one person got a perfect score Chow Ming Wu who after the trial plans to attend Caltech By the way, you can now purchase a bronze statue of the juice for only $3,395. And for an even five grand, you can buy one that Al Cowlings has kissed the ass of. <laughs> <laughs> O.J. Simpson's new fitness video was released this week, and hitting the shelves next week, Simpson's newest video, Dorf on Stocking. <laughs> Look at the crowd's reaction, amazing. <laughs> the crowd is torn. <laughs> According to retailers, the most popular Halloween mask this year is O.J. Simpson. And the most popular Halloween greeting is, I'll kill you and that guy who's bringing over your glasses, or treat. <laughs> 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 and the Pope came out with a book this week which contains a series of essays examining faith and morality in today's secular world and the changing role of the Catholic Church as it approaches the 21st century. The book is entitled 
God himself told me that O.J. is... The <laughs> delivery is so good, man. In other book news, Prince Charles released an autobiography in which he states that he never loved Princess Di and that his father pressured him to marry her. The book is entitled, Of Course O.J. Did It. <laughs> in his book, O.J. Simpson says that he would have taken a bullet or stood in front of a train for Nicole. Man, I'm gonna tell you, that is some bad luck when the one guy who would have died for you kills you. <laughs> you don't get worse luck than that. We we'll just end it there for now, but yeah, man, what a legend, didn't it? R.I.P. Norm. I used to watch so many of his videos of appearances on like Loose. No, no, what was it? What was that? Not Loose Women. What was that show, man, with um, Whoopi Goldberg and stuff, um, where he was absolutely trashing them? Like loads of his talk show appearances were absolutely memorable. I wonder if actually O.J. Simpson said R.I.P. I doubt it, but regardless, Norm Macdonald's a legend. It's sad that we lose all the most influential and best artists creators entertainers first and all the shitty guys hang around forever right they end up hanging around forever stealing a living sucking oxygen out of the room but the actual ones are actually the change makers the ones that actually influence people and you know um provide laughs and joy introspection especially during hard times they're the ones that go first right but the shitty ones the ones that are the hacky ones, they hang around forever and ever and ever and ever right like a like a like a bad smell they don't go away it's absolutely heartbreaking. But again, Norm MacDonald, um, he went out with Norm MacDonald. Norm MacDonald, he went out the way he wanted to go out. Sad that he couldn't share his diagnosis with his family and friends so that they could kind of, you know, comfort him in that time. But I guess he wanted to do it that way. And I'm sure he was able um, to especially privately do that probably behind the scenes. We probably have no idea about that, which I'm glad it didn't come out in that way. And he went out dignified, came in dignified. And yeah, he's a legend, man. RIP to the GOAT. RIP to the GOAT.